All right, y'all making me laugh. Okay, so we're back in the studio again, guys. Um, weather's getting better, but love coming in the studio to be one of my favorite buddies here. We're gonna bring Rochelle back over. So as you guys know, you come over a little closer. We were in Rochelle's studio the last time we were together doing some uh, instruction on how we work with a model, doing test shoots and things like that. And we're back in again in the studio. We're going to do some more editorial shooting with this young lady who you guys probably recognize from the previous video. And I'm going to butcher her name on purpose this time <laughs> and not by accident because I'm going to call her by her real name, Natalia. And then I'm going <laughs> to butcher it at some point during the shoot. So, so we're going to go ahead and let her show what she's starting off with. And then as you see, she has a bodysuit on. Um, as she steps back, we have her in some stilettos. Uh, what we're going to be doing, and I'll let Rochelle jump in and talk more about exactly what we're doing as we start to work on editorial. Two of the main things that we look at when we start an editorial shoot, one is working with curves, then the other one is attention to detail on the photographer's part. So with that, let me go ahead and hand this over to you. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to start with a simple black bodysuit and we're going to show you how we can literally level this up and accent her curves. So some of the ways that we're going to do that is in posing. So we'll kind of break down the different techniques we use to communicate with a client or a model in this case to get what we're looking for. All right. And uh, I'm going to be nice I'm, as I fumble with the mic here. Let me come over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Anything you like to say to everybody? Uh, um, make sure. All right, that's good enough. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, so we're going to have some fun with, with Natalia. Make sure you guys give both these ladies a follow. Just like in the last video, I'll make sure I'll put their stuff in the video, definitely in the description. Um, you guys really seem to like having these two with me last time, so we wanted to get another one here together for you. So when we start doing stuff with editorial posing, a lot of fashion, high fashion pieces are going to be with a harder light, so we're going to embrace some shadows. That being said, we also have to know how the light's gonna fall off, which also we need to communicate with our model. So in this case, as we are moving forward, anything moving forward is closer to a light source, will be brighter. Anything behind us will be darker as the light begins to fall off. So what we're gonna need Natalia to do is occupy space this way in order to keep her well lit and evenly lit across the board. So that's our first, our first step. Okay, so you ready? Alright, as you see the flat, this is going to be three quarter bodies to kind of like right here. Alright, on three. One, two, three. We just did some shots with the explanation on lighting and staying within that zone. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and have Rochelle talk about curves. So go ahead, Rochelle. What are we going to do when it comes to curves and working with the model? All right. Sometimes curves are as simple as shifting your weight. So I'm going to have you put one side of your weight on one leg. I guess I said that wrong. And what you're going to look at here is this curve that she is creating right in here and through here. Now shift your weight for me to the other leg. And what we'll see is we still have a curve, but one side will actually be a little bit better than the other. So have you shift for me? One. And then shift to the other side. See, in this case, this is actually her stronger curve. So we're going to have her put her weight on this leg. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is, she's already learning, is she is extending her posture nice and tall. And then we're always going to ask the model to pull their shoulders back and dip them, I'm sorry, roll their shoulders up and back, which will also extend this, this um, line and make this curve pop a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to also make sure that she's moving her hands in small, subtle motions to create variety in her poses. Still keeping that curve because she's not moving the foundational pose. Awesome. Let's shoot. Yep, let's shoot. And after that, we're going to make her go get the pizza. Okay. Because she, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got you to gotta pay the model to bring the food too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so where we're at now is going to start working on the second part of the video and detail is what we talked about earlier. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. And I'm going to have uh, Rochelle go ahead and give some quick explanation on what we do when we're looking at detail and adding that or subtracting that when doing editorial shooting. 
Okay, so before we had a simple bodysuit and a pair of stilettos, now we decided to take a little more edge to it, took the stilettos off and brought these really cool, fun, wild boots with some texture and color. So we got a little bit of fishnet going on, some zippers, leather, and some bright orange. So it really becomes about the leg. So we may take consider some poses that are more dramatic with the legs to really make that pop. After that, we are going to add another fun accessory, nice little Amazon find, which is a cage skirt. I'm going to have you just like throw this. Oh, no, no, no. We, we oh, go, we're we, going to we make go, you wait. We're going to make y'all wait. Y'all got to see gonna a photo for that one. We're going to show you this a little bit. We ain't going to throw that one right now. We, no, you know, well, we gotta, we that's make the next wait. piece we're going to so, add just to take it up one more level. Absolutely. So, again, like before, we're going to take some shots. I'll show you guys what that result looks like with the boots, adding this contraption, and then uh, hopefully you guys enjoy yet another quick snippet of us doing some instruction, working with a model, just more editorial than the last one. Yes. And uh, sh again, show some folks some love, Copper Flare Photography, and I'll let you say your Instagram, because I already butcher your name bad enough as it is. It's Pretty Princess. Follow me, y'all. <laughs> but it's just more than princess. There's a couple of A's in there, too. Princess, sorry. Pretty Princess, follow me on Instagram. It's like eight A's in there, right? No, it's four. Yeah, okay, see, look, look, yeah. I'll make sure I'll put it, I'll put it across the line again, guys. So with that, you guys hopefully enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys later, YouTube.